This is the micro homily for the 15th of February. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. Remember these narratives from the book of Genesis are not an attempt to give a history of a prehistoric age. They're not there to satisfy our curiosity. They're there to convey messages, truths from God for our salvation. And in that first reading, it's the warning that envy, if not confronted, if you don't face it down, can so corrupt you that it ends up even in murder. If you look inside your passport, it'll say, if, if it's a British passport, Her Britannic Majesty's Secretary of State requests and requires, etc., that you the passport holder, be given assistance and protection. Well, if that narrative is set in the era when agriculture is just beginning to develop, that's about 8,000 years before Jesus' birth. There are no countries, there are no passports. If you wander outside an area where you are personally known to people, your life is in danger. Cain's anxiety was very well placed, and so he receives a mark to protect him. He's given a sign of God's protection. Probably a tattoo. If your tribe had competent warriors, and you wore a tribal tattoo of your tribe, people might think, twice before killing you or enslaving you. In that gospel, the Pharisees demand a sign, and scripture scholars tell us the language used and the way it's used show that they're demanding more than just a miracle of healing. They're demanding something as earth-shattering as stopping a river in its tracks and turning it back. They are defending their closed-mindedness. They will not listen to Jesus' teaching unless he first produces some spectacular sign. And Jesus realised he would waste his time among them, so he will go somewhere else. Tomorrow, we'll hear how Jesus uses that as a teaching opportunity for his disciples.